Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very, very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one, as you can see, is from Samson Daura, and I'll just call it right away. I think this year we're gonna have a new Mr. Olympia, and it's gonna be this guy right here, Samson Daura, because at 7 weeks out, he is looking, I would say... Better than never. I don't think his conditioning was ever at this level. I don't think his quads were ever this dry, this lean, this detailed. The same thing goes for his arms, shoulders, chest, even abs. So for seven freaking weeks out, that's a long time. That's seven freaking weeks. He is almost basically, I mean, I would say he's in his best shape of his life. Maybe you can say Arnold Classic uh, UK was a little bit better conditioning. He was drier on stage after doing a peak week and everything. But like if he stepped on the stage like this, this honestly looks pretty much the way he looked on the Arnold Classic Ohio stage this year uh, as far as body fat percent. I think he's pretty much there already. And there are seven more weeks left. But what he wrote in this post is also very, very interesting. First of all, if you're wondering if this is an older photo, there is a whole bunch of comments, people praising him for his current look, and he replying, uh, thanking everybody. So, based on the comments, yeah, this is a recent physique update. Now, it's also very interesting that he tags two people. So, his wife, Marlena, and another guy... And he actually spoke about this earlier on Fuad Abiyad's podcast. So this guy is not a bodybuilding coach necessarily. He is somebody from Merrick Health. And I think he's like uh, looking at uh, Samson's blood work, trying to keep him healthy. Probably making sure that all of his hormones are in balance, that he's healthy. Which is extremely important for a successful prep and basically longevity in the sport. All the other coaches are also looking at this stuff. But if you have somebody who is basically a professional at this, specifically in this one area then that's even better. That's basically ideal. And based on what uh, Samson said on that podcast, it feels like he's also like into everything that uh, Samson is doing diet-wise, cardio-wise, training-wise. So he's also kind of coaching him, but like he's paying more attention to the health part. And his wife is more on the diet, training, and supplementation stuff, I guess. So that's basically his team right now. And I'm actually wondering why other bodybuilders, top bodybuilders, are not doing this kind of similar approach. I mean, I know coaches also know a lot about blood work and stuff like that, but if you have somebody who is a specialist in this kind of stuff and a coach, I feel like that's a winning combination, potentially something that other bodybuilders are going to start uh, doing after, after they see Samson having a great success. And then you can also hire a posing coach, maybe like a training coach who is training him in the gym, and that would be a whole team, which would be amazing, ideal. But as of right now, Samson has two people in his corner, and I feel like that's why he's looking this good right now. And also, one interesting thing he says in the caption, best I've ever been, and by far the best I've ever felt in a prep. And that's a very important factor here to consider. He's feeling very good at seven weeks out. He says he's never felt this good in a prep. So if he's feeling fine, if he's feeling great, if he's feeling good at this point, that kind of assures us that he's going to continue pushing. Maybe like after two weeks, he starts feeling horrible. Or maybe not. Maybe he starts feeling horrible at two weeks out. Or never. But the fact that he's feeling great at this body fat percent with this look... At this many weeks out is definitely a big, a big plus, a great sign, and it's kind of promising, you know, it feels like this is the year for Samson, the year when he finally brings it, finally nails it, and wins the damn thing, I mean, just look at his physique, look at how massive, how dense, how thick he is with this kind of conditioning at uh, seven weeks out, and also consider the fact that he's quite a bit taller than top guys, like Derek, like Hardy, like Nick, so when he stands on that stage, basically as big as all the other shorter guys, with more height and with more conditioning, it's gonna be lights out, yeah, I'm predicting it right now, I feel like Samson is gonna win this show, he's gonna become the next Mr. Olympia, and if he nails it, if he figures it out, 
and now with the help of this new guy who's gonna probably help him have more longevity last longer in the sport maybe we're gonna have a long-lasting legacy i don't think that's a stretch i think that's very very reasonable if anybody can hold the title for a long time now out of all the guys we have today in like top five i think that's samson Dauda. He is definitely the most, like, overall impressive, overall complete bodybuilder who only needs to fix one thing, and that's conditioning, especially from behind. And I'm pretty sure he's going to do it this year, and I think that's going to be it. Anyways, right now, once again, at seven weeks out, he looks extraordinary. He looks crazy. And as he says, in his own words, best he's ever been, and I completely agree with this, and in seven weeks from now, we're going to witness something insane on that stage. What do you guys think? All right, the next thing is sort of a news, but not really. I mean, I basically broke this news before they <laughs> announced this. Uh, Nick Walker signed with Raw Nutrition. I mean, surprise, surprise. It was quite expected. Uh, he went back with them and they made this pretty cool video basically announcing the sponsorship, explaining kind of what went down with them and why is Nick now with Raw Nutrition. By the way, they used a couple of clips from like a uh, couple of channels, Nick Strength and Power, Rx Muscle and my own channel as well, which is very cool to see. Uh, anyways, Nick is now with Raw Nutrition after stopping working with them a couple of years ago, going to Hostile, going to HD and now coming back uh, home. Let's Let's put it that way now i feel like this just makes total sense you can say whatever i can say whatever you know about him you know changing that many companies and so on but you know i always felt like he was supposed to be there you know with matt jansen with raw with revive you know he was always with them basically since the beginning and also when he was sponsored by other companies he was still kind of using and basically promoting uh, raw and revive supplements on his youtube channel because he was using some of their stuff some supplements like health supplements that the other companies were not making so he he was still using their products and you know it actually felt like he believed in their products and that he liked the way they were doing things so i think this is definitely what was always meant to be you know he tried it with hostile it didn't work out for him hd muscle let's be real it never really felt like he was gonna stay there for a long time it wasn't you know exactly i think it wasn't exactly uh, a big enough of a brand and like uh, it just didn't jive, to me at least. I never really saw Nick Walker being sponsored by HD Muscle for a long time. Now, going back to Matt Jensen as his coach and also Raw Nutrition as his supplement company that is uh, sponsoring him, it makes a lot of sense. And I think he's going to be happy with them, with that crew. And I think it's a great decision for Nick. Uh, it made sense. I was expecting this to happen at some point. And I honestly hope this is going to last, he's going to stick, he's going to stay there for a long time and, you know, have great success in the future. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. All right, next up, we got a physique update from Wesley Wissers at seven weeks out. We can't see his legs, but we can see his upper body and basically what kind of conditioning he is planning on bringing to this show. And at seven weeks out, he got really freaking lean. And recently he announced on a podcast that his goal for this year's Mr. Olympia is to come in more shredded than he was at the Arnold Classic. And seeing this right now, it feels like he is gonna deliver. Now, I don't know how is that even possible. I mean, at the Arnold Classic Ohio, he was as shredded and as full as he could have been. Honestly, that was him at like 110%. I don't think he needs to be any better than that. But if he can come in even drier, even more detailed, I mean, I don't know if it's possible physically. But if he can do that, then I don't know. That would be just a super crazy freak factor. And once again, if he is this lean at seven weeks out, this is basically almost stage-ready conditioning. We can see his legs, but the upper body looks basically almost as lean as it was in the Arnold Classic. So if he actually does that, like brings even crazier conditioning and stays big and full, and let's say Chris Bumstead is not at 100%, if he misses a little, if he's like 95%, can this guy, can Wesley Wissers take him out? Can he become the next Mr. Olympia in classic physique? Can he beat Chris Bumstead before he retires? Because I'm pretty sure this is the last year of Chris Bumstead. I mean, if he announces that he's retiring after this show, then I don't think they're gonna give it to Wesley Wissers. 
But maybe if they give it to Wesley Wisters and uh, Chris Bumstead ends his career by losing, maybe he comes back another year. But I don't think that's going to happen. And I don't think Chris is going to lose. But if anybody can challenge Chris this year, it's Wesley Wisters. I'm pretty sure it's this guy. And if he doesn't win, I'm pretty sure he's going to be at least second. Yeah, I know Ramon can also show up much better than he was last year and far better than he was at the Arnold Classic. But with Wesley's structure, with his height, with his shape, with his freaking super classic lines, I don't see anybody beating him aside from Chris Bumstead. And I'm not even sure about that, honestly. Wesley is super impressive now. And with this condition that he's trying to deliver this year, anything is possible, guys. Anything is possible. Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon, guys. All the best and bye-bye.